and I'm going to introduce to you uh, Dr. Tiffany Nicely, the uh, leader of the groups, and uh, we are thrilled to have them here today. So welcome to Buffalo Toronto Public Media, and welcome to the musicians. Good afternoon. We are thrilled to see you guys here. Um, this is the West African Drumming Ensemble. We call ourselves Wade uh, from Buffalo State University. I'm Dr. Nicely, Tiffany Nicely, and uh, we're, we're really happy to bring you some traditional rhythms from Guinea in West Africa. Our first rhythm is called Fe Fola. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, thanks so much. Um, so that was Fefola. Um, as you can see, we are an intergenerational group. 
We are made up of students of Buffalo State University, faculty members of Buffalo State University, and community members. If anyone wants to join, come see me afterwards and I'll tell you all about our rehearsal schedule. Uh, just a quick word about the drums we're using. These are authentic drums from West Africa. Um, Ringo, can you demonstrate your djembe? All the hand drums you see in the row here are djembes. They're goblet-shaped drums. They're hollow. The sound actually comes out the bottom of the drum. And depending on where you strike the drum and what angle you use, you make a couple different sounds. So right in the, yep, right in the middle, and the edge, and the edge but with fingers relaxed. So those are our various different sounds. We're going to play two pieces that are stuck together today. Um, these are Jabara into Mama Tambo.
awesome. So push the drums away. <clears throat> and let's take a bow. Okay, you guys are free to me. Okay, so the members of the West African Drumming Ensemble are gonna take a little break while uh, Ringo Brill, Gabriel Gutierrez, and myself perform some of the pieces that we play on, as our group, Diaspora Drumming. We call ourselves Diaspora because we're interested in music that comes from West Africa, but also from places that were influenced by West Africa. So we're gonna start with a piece from Guinea, and I also wanted to introduce, I forgot, the Dune Dunes, right? The heart of the drum ensemble. Uh, this is what Gabriel is playing. And they are cylindrical rather than goblet shaped. And they have um, cow skins rather than goat skins. And of course, they're played with sticks. So Gabriel's playing the part of three people. And Jaden was also a minute ago on his set of Dune Dunes. So this is a piece called Guinea Fare. It's about the women of Guinea. So as you can tell, Ringo Brill is the artistic director of Diaspora Drumming. Uh, he's pretty amazing with those hands. <laughs> yeah, he's been, he's been playing uh, djembe for quite a long time. So we wanted to introduce you to some other instruments that we enjoy performing on. I brought my balaphone. Wow. Yeah, can you hold that up for me, Gabriel? The balaphone is a kind of xylophone played in Guinea. It's specific to the Susu ethnic group, so not just anybody. Um, and in fact, within the Susu ethnic group, you can only play the balaphone if you're born into a certain family. So it's, it's a really cool instrument. And um, so like most xylophones, the bigger notes make lower sounds, and the smaller notes make higher sounds. And underneath each note or piece of wood, which is a note or a key, there's a gourd, and the gourds um, grow in West Africa kind of like we can grow pumpkins or zucchini. Um, and you harvest them when they're the right size, um, scoop out the seeds, toast the seeds and eat them, um, and then you drill a little hole in the gourd and put a membrane so that it um, buzzes when you play it rather than just having a straight tone. That buzz is really important to the sound. So this is a little piece called Yankadi Makru from Guinea. Um, we're going to have some balafones, some dun dunes, and a little djembe. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to perform one more piece uh, featuring the balafone, and then we're going to introduce you to its grandbaby. Okay. So, a little preview there. So, one more piece. Uh, this is called Yabule, also from Guinea. Thank you. 
you. Thank you so much. Um, so, as promised, we've also brought the grandchild of the balaphone and other xylophones like it from Africa. This is called the marimba. And the marimba is another kind of xylophone. We've got wooden bars, but instead of gourd resonators, it's metal pipes. Each one has a, a stopper in it at the right length to make the resonating chamber. And um, hopefully what you've noticed in the music from West Africa is a couple of elements that are common to all the pieces, right? So you probably notice some patterns, different patterns being played overlapping. Uh, you probably noticed some improvisation. Uh, these are all elements of African music that have also been brought to the African diaspora in addition to instruments. So I'm gonna play some music from Mexico on the marimba. And the way it's done in Mexico is you share. <laughs> so I'll be playing the melody. And Gabriel will be playing the bass with his left hand and chords with his right hand. And Ringo is going to join us on the drum set, which is another uh, element of the African diaspora from the United States. Uh, putting all the drums together to make a one-person polyrhythm is part of the African diaspora as well. So we're going to start um, with a, <clears throat> a song that tells a story. So I'm not going to tell you the story in words, and we're going to tell you the story through music. So what you're going to hear is a very sad, sad person. So you're going to hear her crying through the music. You're also going to hear her seeking, searching. She can't find what she's looking for, so she keeps crying. At some point, she gets so frustrated. You'll hear the frustration, and she kind of goes crazy. So we're listening for those elements. This is called La Llorona from Mexico. Thank you. 
All right, thank you. Um, another fun piece from Mexico <clears throat> requires a little help from you guys, for where you are. Um, it's called El Mosquito, and it's about a person who's trying to sleep, but there's a mosquito in the room. <laughs> so you keep getting more and more frustrated and the tempo goes up. And when Ringo does that, you're gonna go clap, clap. Let's practice. Ready, go. Again and go. I think you're ready. Here we go. So we start out slow because we're trying to sleep. Here we go. Ready and the go E and. The marimba is also very popular in Guatemala, Costa Rica, Nicaragua. Um, in many of those countries, it's actually the um, state instrument or the official instrument of that country. And that is also true of Mexico. It, the marimba is very, very popular, particularly in southern parts of Mexico. So let's do a piece um, called Vamos a Tabasco. Have you ever heard of Tabasco? Maybe you've used some recently. <laughs> um, did you know that it's a state in Mexico? That's actually where they, where they kind of the name got inspired from. So it's a state, and this song is called Vamos a Tabasco. Let's go down to Tabasco.
Thank you very much. Okay, there's one other place uh, that's a part of the African diaspora that we wanted to um, <laughs> demonstrate a little music from, and this is the country of Brazil. So some of you probably know this, but when we have spring in Brazil, they're having the fall. It's the opposite. So when we're freezing cold in the winter, they're roasting hot in the summer. And one time, Ringo and I went to Brazil for New Year's, and we left here with big coats on. <laughs> And as soon as we got off the airplane, it was like we were stepping into a sauna. It was so wonderful. And we went to the beach for New Year's, which felt great. So um, the, the instruments are just a little different. So hang on one sec. Um, so in, in addition to African influence, there's some European influence in Brazil as well. And that is seen in the use of the snare drum. So just a regular old snare drum. They call it the kasha. And they use hand drums very similar to djembe. So Ringo's going to be using his djembe. They're called chimbao. And for the bass drum, Gabriel's going to be playing a surdu, the great grandchild of the dune dune. Um, this is a piece called samba reggae. And it actually um, is called samba reggae because it was paying uh, respect to Jamaican solidarity with Jamaican people when they were going through their um, independence struggles from England. And so the idea of reggae music as a representative of, of culture and um, strength is something that they really admired. So this is samba reggae from Brazil.
Thank you so very much. At this moment, I'd like to welcome back to the stage the members of the West African Drumming Ensemble from Buffalo State University. After we perform one more piece, we're gonna see if anybody in the audience would like to come up and try some drums. So please be thinking about that. Uh, come on down. guys we've got some stick drums in the back so this drum is available if somebody would like to sit down do you want to play this one there you go okay so um, I see another one down there do you want to try that one 